Hello, ARL attendees. I'm pleased to join you today, even if it's only as a digital mirage. I wanted to share a few thoughts about SHARE. I'm the APLU's representative to the SHARE Steering Committee, and I've given this uh, quite a bit of thought. People ask us, why are we pursuing SHARE? And I think it's clear if you think of the history of universities and the role of universities in uh, preserving the scholarly record, that this is just a new form of that responsibility in the digital age. Say, well, why do share a distributed solution when there are other solutions that are likely to be centralized federal solutions or publisher solutions? And I think there are three arguments. First, the federal government is not the only funder of the research record that we want to keep. There are many different ways that research is done in many different forms, and universities have preserved those records for the entire public. Anything that we want to uh, provide to the public, universities want to be prepared to keep that record. So that's not just what might be funded by the Federal Research or published by uh, the, the conventional scholarly publishers. Secondly, um, the size of the record that we're trying to keep, in fact, is too large to have a centralized solution. When you consider open data and what one needs to preserve with open data, that is an enormous challenge. Data is unbounded. So there will be times when, in fact, there may be a unique data record, or at most a replication uh, to be sure that it uh, can, can, the essentials can be preserved. Um, and you won't want that, or uh, the collection of all those digital records to somehow be centralized. They're just going to be too big. Uh, for example, what might come from high energy physics or what comes from astrophysics or, or DNA research. It's just too big. Another is resilience. In many different times throughout history, universities have been able to protect scholarly work even through dramatic regime change. Um, we hope that that's not uh, something you have to deal with regularly. But it is something that universities throughout the world have done, and with a distributed solution comes a great deal of, uh, of resilience. We want to be sure that the access that provided is very complete access. We're interested in having scholarly works available for text mining, other kinds of analyses. And People have asked, how will SHARE be funded? It's another cost, and we don't have lots of sources of money at this time. But the point I would make is that publication is part of the cost of research. Any funder who funds research for public consumption with the intention of public benefit expects that that research will be exposed to the public and therefore inherent in the system has to be the funding for the publication. SHARE is similarly a publication about publications. And that's what will enable us to make the most of the publications that are available. That's why I think for the long run, if we can make that argument with our funders consistently, that we will find a way of covering the costs of share. With that, I hope you've had a congenial and productive meeting. I'm sorry I could not join you. And I thank you for giving me a few minutes of your attention.